one of the really cool staff guys helped me well he brought Zeus out here for me to the meet and greet yard Zeus is um, five years old male um, I wanted to take him for a walk because I'm sure he gets tired of being cramped up all the time in that little kennel so I, I wanted to give him just some area just to room around a little bit and smell something different other than other than the meet and greet yard you know in the kennel he's a little bit unsure of my wheelchair and if you've seen any of the videos lately of at pack then Zeus kind of sits in the back of the kennel he does he doesn't really interact with me too much um, but he looks at me a lot and and I I think that he does that because he likes the eye contact I don't think he really cares about treats or food or anything like that um, but I could be wrong he's using his sniffer quite a bit right now and I left a little treat I put it on top of the uh, on top of the bench he just might want to find it you know and then he'll then he might change his direction when after he finds it but right now he's using a sniffer and that's really really good um, I was listening to Caesar Milan one time and Caesar Milan was saying that if they start sniffing around then that means that they're starting to get more comfortable with the situation. It was either Caesar Milan or it was a different guy, different guy on the internet that, on YouTube that I saw. Um, so he is sniffing around, and I'm really apprehensive about what I should do next to try and get him to maybe want to go out. I, I I kind of want to sit here and see if he comes close to me or not. Um, you know, he probably what he's what he might do is he might just sniff around for a little while. Yeah, John. If yeah. He's gonna, if he's going to stay fearful of your chair, it might not be a good idea to take him out in an area that's not enclosed. You know, I'd be afraid he might get loose. Okay. So, All right. Good idea. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so the that cool um, staff guy was saying that, you know, what I should probably do with Zeus is I should probably, you know, take him if I'm going to take him anywhere, maybe just take him in, inside of the area inside of here where all the gates are and stuff like that so that if he does get loose on me then he's still in somewhat of a contained area so somebody that has a little bit more you know that can walk around and is a little bit more able-bodied like like that like that cool guy uh, can can get Zeus for me you know uh, because Zeus might not you know, I, I might not be able to get up close to Zeus because he still might be pretty fearful of me. So you might have to have somebody that can run, you know, or um, somebody that is a little bit more able-bodied than, than me being in a wheelchair. But I love, I love that. He's someone sniffing around. I love that, man. And I, I, what I... I mean, what I want to do, what 
like the best thing that I would like to do is I would like him to feel comfortable enough where he could go to the bathroom. Um, he doesn't have his tail tucked under, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah. What I want to do is I want to give him some eye contact as much as possible so that he knows that I love him. But I, I don't want to give him eye contact in one way to let him, to, be, to have him be fearful of me or be afraid of me. I want him to give eye contact to know, let him know that I love him. Yeah, I see the smiles there. And I'm wondering if the smiles are from thirst or if they're just from happiness. And if they are from happiness, then I like that. That's cool. See, there's a little treat there. That he, was he interested in that? Good boy. Good boy, Zeus. Yes. Good doggy, Zeus. Yeah. I like that, Zeus. That was a good doggy. Yep. So what I'm going to do, I picked Zeus out because he's older. Yeah, I like that smile. He's not looking at me. I wish he was looking at me or he would just glance at me or something like that, but he's not, he's not doing that yet. He's not, I don't think he's feeling comfortable with me just yet, but I'm not moving around. So I think that's probably good. I hope he has his tongue out because he's happy and he is he doesn't have his tongue out because he's thirsty. You know, I was thinking about maybe bringing a bowl with me and then I could bring some water just in case and give that to the doggies whenever they cuz I mean we're talking about 100 degrees a hundred degree weather and I think it's like fifty six time fifty six days of the year have been over a hundred degrees. So he's probably he's probably pretty hot. And he has his he has his winter coat on so you know. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until he backs away a little bit. And then I'm going to put another treat or maybe on that bench. And then, good boy. And then one more on that uh, chair. And probably one more on that chair too. He seems like he's getting more comfortable because if you see his tail is up a little bit more than it was initially. Yeah, Zeus is a male, definitely a male. That was good boy. That was a good boy, Zeus. All right, now he's moving away a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a treat and I'm gonna put it on the bench. So what I did with Zeus, he was still a little bit, he was still a little bit closer to me. But he's still sniffing, so I like that. And I put one over there on that chair. I put a little goodie on that chair. And then I put a little goodie on the uh, bench again. So I'm wondering, he's looking at me a little bit more than he was initially. And I like that. You know. He's starting to spend a little bit of time, a little bit more time at the door, so he might be ready to go out. One thing I was thinking about doing right now is going over there and um, getting my leash 
and trying to put that leash on him. Because it is kind of, it seems a little bit obvious to me that he does want to get out a little bit. He's probably tired of us sniffing around here. Kind of sniffed what he needed to in here. But he's probably ready to go out and sniff some other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get close to him. And I'm going to try and put the leash on him and see how he reacts to that. He's still a little bit interested in the treats. He's using a sniffer. Good boy. Good boy, Zeus. Good boy, Zeus. Good boy. If he backs away, he's still a little bit too nervous for me, of me right now. Yeah, I think he does want to go out there and go out walking around. He's using a sniffer right now. I really appreciate that. I like that. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, Zeus. Good doggy, Zeus. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there and I'm going to grab the leash and I'm going to try and put the leash on him. What I was able to do with Zeus is I was able to put the leash on him. And I did get some nice tail wagging. From Zeus. And that was pretty cool. Like the tail wagon. I like that tail wagon. Yeah. He likes you. Yeah, with the smile. That's good. I like the smile, Zeus. Yeah. Good doggy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming over. Sure, yeah. you're welcome. That's cool. Yeah, he seems. Yeah. I think the wheelchair catches the mob guard just as much. Yeah. Stage. You're not used to that contraption, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but he'd take good care of you. He'd be a good daddy for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. You want to be a sled dog, huh? Yeah. You be a sled dog? Mush, mush. <laughs> we'll get you a little harness, huh? We'll get you a little harness, huh? Oh, yeah. oh, he likes you. He's got the tail wagon. Good. Oh, you happy. Happy doggy, aren't you? I like that. I like that. Tommy hanging out. I do. Yeah. We're just going very, very, very slowly right now. Yeah, I like that tail wagon, Zeus. I sure do. Zeus wants to go over there where the other people are. But some of the other, it's making some of the other kids anxious. Some of the other dogs are getting anxious. So I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and give him a little bit, try and get him over to the other side of the, of the walk. See how he works out over there, because he's less doggy, I think. A little bit of luck right now, is he will sit for me whenever I'm giving him a treat. He's kind of grabby, so... Yeah, I like the tongue licking. I love you too, buddy. I do. I love you. Yes. And the tail wagging. I like the tail wagging a lot. <laughs> I want to see. Oh, he's done. He's done with it. He wants to go out rolling around again. So. I don't know why, but he wanted to go to another meet and greet area. 
I think that's because there's lots of doggy smells around. And he likes all those sniffing areas, all the doggies. But whenever I I tried to take the leash off of him, he was smiling a little bit and he was wagging his tail a little bit. So I think he's getting a little bit more comfortable with me. And I like that. You know, a situation like this, I hate to take him back to the kennel, you know, but at the same time, I'm glad that he got an experience with a wheelchair, not, not being so scared about wheelchairs. I was trying to be as most, I was trying to move as slow as possible. I think what I'm going to do, since I'm right next to the door, and he might want to get to the door again. Um, if he gets to the door, then that probably means that I should probably take him again to his kennel. But, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide a treat on the bench, and then I'm going to hide one on the chair because he's using his sniffer right now, which is really cool. That means he's comfortable, I think. So, anyway, here I go. So what I did was I put one treat over there on the, over there on the chair, and then I put one treat over here on the bench. Um, he's using a sniffer, so he's still a little bit has a still a little bit of, of interest. Um, if I get him to spend a few minutes at that door, then that means he's probably ready to go. We'll see. He looked at me and then I didn't look at him. I should have. I probably should have done that. He's using a sniffer. Yeah. I really like him cruising around like that. If he looks up and sees that I'm looking at him, I think it'll make him happy. Let's see if you can get that one, huh, Zeus? There's one on the bench. At least. But I think he's too interested in the smells of the other dogs that are in the that are in the the, the floor. Yeah, he is too interested in that stuff to get a treat. I think he knows I'm looking at him because he can hear my voice. Otherwise, he would lose interest and go to the door immediately. Sometimes when there's, there's a dogs and there's a little bit of interest there too. So he might decide to go back to the gate. Yeah, just to see what's going on. Oh, there's a parking going on. See how long he stays there. If he stays there for a good minute, then he probably wants to go back. Oh, he doesn't want to go back just yet.
think he's kind of losing interest. Right now. Might want to go. So probably what I want to do is I'm going to probably go over there and try and see if I can put the leash on them again. And then we're going to spend a little bit of time trying to get back to the kennel so I can put them in the kennel again. But it was a pretty good experience. I probably had, what, maybe 20 minutes at least, 30 minutes of, of uh, together time with him and I. You know, with his tongue hanging out like that, he's probably thirsty, so he probably is ready to get back to the kennel. There's water back there. Let's see if he comes over here and gets the treat or not. Because he's thirsty, so he probably he might not get that treat. I'm hoping that he does, but... He will. Yeah, he's done with that. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and put the, I'm going to put his leash on it and then take him back to the kennel. So he's loose drank a little bit of water. Yeah, I like the smile. Yes, I, do. I like that smile a lot, Jules. Yeah. You had a good time, man. You did have a good time. I was, I was worried about that, Jules. But I do, I do think that you had a good time. Yes, I do. Yeah. And he was doing a command for me, too. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. And he was thirsty. He did drink a little bit of water he came back to the yeah. yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good doggy. Zeus is not too good at children. Like I said, he's five years old. Well, I just did like him to be. He was always back there in the back of, on his bed. I like his. You know, I'm glad that he likes his bed. But I want to get him a little bit. You know? He's been here since June 19th. So he's been here. He's been here June, June, July, August. So he's been here about two months now. So it was good to get him out. Kind of seeing a little bit of stuff. Out of he did sit for me. I'm going to give him another treat. There you go, Zeus. Zeus has the animal number of I think he's, uh, he 
he's a uh, well they say no children or cats I'm gonna see what kind of breed he is just for good to go plays with squeaky toys loves attention aggression towards Younger children, five to six years old. Uh, I think they brought him here because he had a mass on him. They needed to be removed. He's always by your side. That was good. I really enjoyed that. He was close to me and I really liked that. Um, he's feeling comfortable with me. He's laying down right here instead of laying down on his bed. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, animal number is A61 
kid so I didn't think that it was necessary but I just figured what the heck because his name is little John so uh, and he's five years old which is I like the older ones uh, he's male male are you gonna let me live in a little close up of your little John Yeah, that's good. Okay, well done. 